Hello everyone, it's the designer of LegendaryReviews.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys Windows 8 running on a really, really old IBM ThinkPad. This computer is from 2003. I found it in, well, my mom's been using it for a little while. Uh, it was broken, actually. Uh, I had to get a new processing cooler for it. Put that in, put some thermal grease on it. It's running great. Um, now I, I put Windows 8 on it, you know, to test it out and to test how, how Windows 8 would run on a really old computer with an outdated processor. Um, it's got a decent amount, decent amount of RAM. I'm going to give it that. But um, l l let's see how this runs. Well, this is the consumer preview for Windows 8. I showed you guys uh, what the, the developer preview looked like. And uh, since the developer preview, a lot of things has cha have changed. I'm going to show you guys what what, how, what this uh, what Windows 8 runs like without the recording software. And I'm going to switch to my camera right now. Alrighty, and now I've switched to the camera. And as you guys um, can see right here in um, the corner of the screen, there is no longer um, a start menu uh, button there. Now, um, they got rid of the start menu, and as you guys know by now, we have a start screen. And... Um, they got rid of the button down there, and instead of, you know, actually pressing the button, what you got to do is you got to take your cursor, put it all the way in the corner of the screen, you'll see the little start thing, you click it, and there you go, you have your, um, you know, your start screen. And the start screen has changed, it lets you customize all the colors. Um, let's go back to the desktop, as you can see, very snappy, very quick, it's just a quick little fade back to your desktop very fast especially on a computer like this now um, I also want to show you guys the task manager uh, now when you open up the task manager you're given a, a little simple um, you know task manager here and um, what, what you could do is you could close simply just close apps but if you click more details you guys could see how much of your CPU how much of your memory how much of your disk and how much of your internet is being used by each individual app and this is very good um, especially for people that are running on a tablet for using a 3G or 4G network and um, you know you, you want to know which app is killing your data plan you'd be like you just look here and be like oh wow that app is using a lot of data and then you could close that app from here and it's also good if you have a really, let's say you have a really junky tablet, it only has one gigabyte of RAM. Now in reality, most of these tablets are, are going to have at least at the minimum of two gigabytes of RAM for this operating system to run really smooth. Um, and, um, you know, you have a bunch of apps open and you want to know which app is, you know, really slowing down my operating system. And, you know, you can look here, it'll tell you, wow, wow, you know, the, the Windows Store right now is using a lot of memory. I should close that down. And that will help you get more performance out of your tablet. And here, if you click on the Performance tab, it just shows you um, how much uh, CPU, memory, disk, and um, how much of your Internet you're using in general. Um, one thing I like here is uh, the CPU tab here. It, it shows you exactly um, the speed your processor is running at and I think that's really cool especially for people that are overclocking their uh, processors. This is a really good tool for gamers you know to check on you know what speed your uh, processor is running at at the moment and it updates all the time. It'll tell you what speed it's running at. L let's see if we can make it go a little bit higher by moving that. There you go. It went up all the way. Alrighty, and um, you know, you, you also have uh, app history. It shows apps that you've used in the past, and if one is using a lot of data, it highlights it. The app that is using the most data is going to be highlighted. Uh, you also have startup programs here that you could add. You could remove them as well. Um, users, if you have multiple users, it tells you how much RAM each user is using up. And um, you could actually disconnect that user if you're on a, a different on a different user and you you know you want to you know use more RAM. And you know that is obviously stopping you if you have multiple people using the let's say the same tablet. And um, you know your your sister logged in and you um 
you want to close her account, but you, you don't have the password. Well, you don't need the password. You can automatically just disconnect it, which is very good. All right, I'm also going to show you guys Windows Explorer. Windows Explorer has changed a lot. They've um, added ribbons that, um, you know, these ribbons r originated from Microsoft Office 2007. And um, as you can see, there are ribbons. It does make it easier to uh, navigate Windows Explorer. Uh, you also have a, um, a button that goes uh, back, which is real nice. It's real nice to have. That's uh, something um, Microsoft had on one of their older operating systems, but I guess for some reason they decided to remove it, and um, they brought it back. All right, well, that's pretty much all I want to show you guys about the desktop for now. And um, let, let's go to um, your Metro user interface. Now, here you have Internet Explorer. Let's open that up. And as you guys could see, it opened up pretty quick. Um, you right-click if you want to, um, you know, see the new tab and see the interface. Now on the tablet, what you would do is you would just simply slide up or slide from the bottom there and that would pop up like that. But I'm using this on a mouse and surprisingly on a mouse this works very good. Now I would recommend, let's say uh, if you're using uh, a, a gaming PC, this operating system is really good for gaming PCs. Now um, uh, a really big misconception is that Windows 8 is made more for tablets than it is for desktops and honestly it runs better on desktops than it is gonna on tablets uh, first of all because it's gonna run faster than Windows 7 you're gonna get much better frame rates on your games than you would with Windows 7 on top of it the operating systems using less RAM and I mean the Metro user user interface works really good with the mouse there's no compromise with this program it, it, it's really it works for pretty much all platforms and um, I'd highly recommend PC gamers to switch to Windows 8 this is gonna be really good for PC gaming it's also gonna be really good for the tablet market this is gonna be huge competition for the iPad and Android and honestly this probably is gonna be better than the iPad and Android alright now um, let's go to a website Oh, look at that. You get frequent, and you can also pin websites. Now, um, let's go to our website here. All right. Now, uh, you could pin this, and you could pin it to your, um, to your start screen, uh, as I have already did over here. I have it right there. It shows the icon. That's really nice. Uh, well, you could, and, you know, that's really nice, because um, you could pin websites there. And, um... Let's just show you, you know, the, the browser on here. It is relatively quick. I mean, for a computer like this, I mean, Windows 8 running on a computer like this, this is very impressive because this is just a single core processor and most of these tablets are going to have dual core processors anyways. So they're going to perform better anyways. So the fact that I could run this operating system on a computer like this is very very impressive and I, I don't really get lag it, it runs really good all right and uh, you know a little thing I like here is um, if you go to this side there's a that's the back button that's a really cool back button it's very very nice to have all right well now that you guys have seen um, Internet Explorer oh one more thing I want to mention about this um, this is not going to have flash enabled in it. It will have HTML5 video, but I mean if you really want to watch a video uh, using flash, which I would recommend cuz HTML5 players usually pre they usually suck and you know people usually want to use flash. I know I always do. You guys can click this little thing here and click view on desktop. It'll open up the desktop and it'll go in the normal internet explorer and you could watch the video in flash that's a nice little button to have right there it's very useful especially if you don't want to use the junky HTML5 player alright and I'm gonna just gonna show you guys the store right now 
Now, as you can see, that opened up pretty quick. I like that. Um, right now, they have quite a few apps out here. But, of course, when the operating system comes out, there's, there's literally going to be thousands and thousands of apps. Uh, let's just show you what a, an app page looks like. Um, there you go. You can flip through images. You can see details on it. You could also see reviews. And as you can see, there's already quite a few reviews up. And um, details. It'll tell you what processors uh, this app is going to run on. And um, it's, it, that's pretty much almost every processor Windows 8 is going to be on. Except for they did not include Qualcomm. They're going to be in there as well. I'm sure there's going to be quite a few tablets with them and uh, with that, those processors in them. And those are the processors you would find in your smartphone. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys uh, uh, this, this cool little thing. Because uh, in the start menu, there was, um, there was this thing where it would uh, let you see all your programs. All you do is right click on the start screen, click all apps. There you go, you got all your apps right there. Uh, now, the search has pretty much stayed the, stayed the same since my other video. If you guys want to see the search, just go to the other video. I'm not going to show you guys right now. Because unfortunately, this computer does not have a Windows key on it. This is a, you know, a pretty old laptop. I wish it did have a Windows key because the Windows key is very useful in um, Windows 8. I'm just going to show you guys uh, the, the lock screen right now. Uh, you could customize the picture in the back, of course. You get a little alerts from apps that come down here. Let's say you could have a weather app, you know, show you the weather on the side here. That's really nice. That's something, you know, the iPad has. Another thing that I hope for is um, eventually maybe uh, the Windows Media Player or the Zoom software uh, will, um, you know, integrate a little player in here. So, you know, uh, if you lock your tablet, you know, you could... Um, just quickly, you know, access your music through there. Now I'm going to enter my password. And as you can see, it went straight to the st start screen very quickly. It was not slow at all. Um, it, this will require you to um, link your Hotmail account to um, this operating system. So um, your Windows account will be required to be able to log in the windows um, now I'm also going to show you uh, exactly how uh, Microsoft has gone about of organizing all your apps let's say you have all your apps opened up and um, you want to see them all all you do is you just simply go to the corner of the screen move the mouse up and it will show you all the apps you have opened up and you could just simply click on it and it goes right to it go back to the Windows Store um, another thing that I like is you could you could do this you could put Windows side by side I could make it go halfway there you go works really good if you wanna run multiple apps at once now, I mean, if you really want to do this side-by-side -side thing, honestly, it runs better on tablets than it would on a computer. But, you know, everything else pretty much works better on a normal PC with this operating system. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys is uh, if you guys want to turn off the computer, uh, you know, what you used to have to do is just put your mouse... Um, your cursor here all the way in the corner and it would come up but now you gotta do uh, pretty much what I did over here did this move it up well what you gotta do is you gotta put the cursor in the bottom move it up and you get all these options you get the clock right there you click settings and you get um, your internet your volume you get notifications and there it is power that'll shut down and restart Uh, there's just one last thing I want to show you guys on the desktop that I did not get to show you. And that is, uh, this is something very important for PC gamers. And what Microsoft has done is they've changed the Windows rating system. If I could figure out how to get to it. Here 
Here we go. All right. Your Windows experience has changed. Back then, in Windows 7 and in Windows Vista, it went to 7.9. Well, now that processors are getting much more powerful and graphics card cards are getting much more powerful, it goes to 9.9 .9 now instead of 7.9. So your scores are going to be lower now. So, um, you know, getting that $1,000 LGA 2011 uh, i7 would uh, really be useful. Now, I'm not sure where the that i7 would uh, rank on this computer, but as you can see, my rank is 2.0 on this really junky laptop. Uh, so that's basically about it. Don't forget to go to legendaryreviews.com for game reviews, downloads, and much, much more.